finally did it. Yesterday I recorded, edited, and posted on Patreon my video announcing that I'm getting rid of bulk, private label, and basically getting rid of selling all physical items for the time being. I don't plan on doing bulk and private label again. I don't know, just go watch that video. I'll, I'll link it down below. All right, so I just printed off all these shipping labels. So what I'm gonna do is go through each of the orders and just grab all the items of whatever products I have made and this is just a mess right now. Like, I don't know. I need to go through, do inventory and have like a big sale of like whatever items I have made here. But I'm gonna do that after I get all of my orders out and then I'll go through, figure out what inventory I have, keep that tracked and I'll probably do it just on my website because it's really hard to keep track of both Etsy and my website's inventory together. So I'll probably have a big sale on my website sometime. So here's what this person ordered. Go through and grab a few things. So here's my label making station and this is where I print out everything. So that's where I printed out my shipping labels. And what I do is I'll use these containers and I have all kinds of different sized containers for this. And here they all are. The bigger ones are mainly for like bulk orders, but I just have different sized ones that I use to put different orders in. So I have them all organized. These containers here were definitely the best value. These are from Ikea. So if you're interested in doing like packing order method like this, which I definitely recommend if you're having like larger amounts of orders every week, it's easy just to go through, grab these containers, put whatever you need in them, and then set them up on your counter where you go to like label them and stuff. But I'll link these storage containers down below. I really, really love these clear storage containers. I have so many different sizes and shapes, but they are, I think, expensive, but they're just really nice. So this person just got a one ounce jade moisturizer. So we'll come over here and we literally only have one jade moisturizer left. That's that order. And then I just go through every single one and do that. And then some orders I'll have like half of it ready, half of it not ready. And then I kind of just like grab one of the larger containers because this is a larger order. I actually need one of these bigger ones. And we need five of these four ounce rose face mists for a private label order. So I'll just cross off the rose face mist since I have those made and then take this packing slip into the lab with me so I know which one I need to make. And I'm just gonna go through, finish all of these and then we can go do everything else I need to do. Okay, so we need to grab all of my equipment that's sanitized because I literally have nothing sanitized in my lab. It's all in here drying. So we gotta grab it all. But first let me give you like a quick little tour i am going to do like an official tour of my workshop which i actually missed doing one last year which i'm kind of sad about because i really like being able to look back on all those and see my growth but i will definitely be doing one soon so right here we obviously have storage and then we got more storage back here and here is just more storage for miscellaneous things a little fold out table some laundry i need to fold this is all equipment that has just dried after being like hand washed with just dish soap and water. And then over here is everything that's been actually sanitized with my sanitizing solution. And I'm actually gonna do another tutorial, like an updated tutorial on how I sanitize all my equipment. And then down here, we just got more storage for containers I use for my YouTube channel. And then over here, that's just stuff that's ready to be sanitized. That's my sanitizing bucket, sanitizing gloves. This is where like the majority of all my equipment dries is on this rack. And then I got this rack from Ikea. I'll do a more in-depth tutorial sometime soon. Let me know if you wanna see that. So like I said, I need to grab all my equipment that's sanitized and take it into the lab. So here is just one of the containers. Guys, now that I'm not gonna be doing my business anymore, I have so many tutorials coming. I'm gonna show you guys so many tips that I use to like store things, all that kind of stuff. All right, so I got her all filled up and now I'm just gonna take her back to the lab. Okay.
I still have a few other things I need to put away, but I don't need any of that today. So I'll deal with that later. Procrastination. Just another example as to why I gotta shut down this business. There's just stacks of orders. Let me list off to you everything I need to make, okay? We got peppermint lip scrub, 16 ounce, 24 one ounce eye cream, six two ounce rose moisturizers, 32 ounce container of rose face mist, and four four ounces, two no color Venus washes, the Luna cream. I need to do two 16 ounce jars and one 32 ounce jars. Then I need to do cucumber kiwi body scrub, 16 ounce, 16 ounce lip scrub, and we're not done. Those are just the things that I like want to get done today, okay? Then I need to do 16 bottles of hyaluronic acid serum, so just one ounce bottles. I need to do 32 ounce of glycolic acid toner and six four ounces, and then 10 jars of aloe cream. All right, well, I just had a realization. I don't have enough containers cleaned to make everything I wanna make. Two lip scrubs and then a body scrub, which I like to do in these bowls, but I got these two bowls that are big enough. One can be body scrub, one can be lip scrub, but I don't have one for a third, so okay. So what I'm gonna do now, but I'm gonna go through, see everything I need to make, see what containers I've cleaned and see like, if I have enough of everything. It's weird because normally my issue is I don't have enough large beakers. Now my issue is I have too many small beakers. So I can use this to make a lip scrub, which normally I prefer a bowl because it's easier to like mix it all up. Um, that's what I'll even do with like big batches of like moisturizers. If I make a, a batch of moisturizer in here, I'll pour this into a bowl, preferably a glass bowl because Listen, I want your opinion on this because I don't know. I can't figure it out. Okay Glass bowls don't rust when I use these bowls and I make water-based products in them they rust Even though I see people like the Institute of Personal Care Science I don't know if you guys can hear me with that mask on use metal bowls to formulate Aqueous products, you know products with water in them do theirs not rust? Like, I don't understand. Do I not have like real stainless steel? I don't know what's going on. I don't know why these rust, but I don't like to make water-based products in these. Or if I do, I can't let them sit overnight. I take them out immediately. First thing I'm gonna make, I'm gonna get peppermint lip scrub going. That way it can heat up and stuff while I make the next product, which is going to be my Luna Night Cream because I just wanna get those big giant batches out of the way. All right, so I pulled both the lip scrubs off of the heat and they're all nice and melted. So I can go ahead and put on the retinol moisturizer I just weighed out. So here we have the water phase uh, and I'm actually gonna trade this out for a taller pan you'll see here in a minute. I'm gonna move this, I messed up. All right, I got this taller pan so I could fill it with more water. The water is about up to here. And I'm gonna put this in here because this is really high up. And I want to make sure the water covers at least most of that. I have about like that much space of the water in the beaker not covered by this water. Does that make sense? I just want to make sure it gets all heated. So I use taller pans for bigger beakers. But this beaker, it's only filled, you know, very low. So a small pan works perfectly fine. Now I'm going to let those heat and we'll go back to the lip scrubs and finish these up. Oh wait, I'm done. I can't do anything with these yet. I need to wait for them to solidify a little bit. So while I have these cool, I just mix them periodically. And you can purchase this formula, this lip scrub formula, on my website, CarolieSkincare.com, under the formula section. Or you can sign up for my Patreon and the formula's on there and you'll also have access to two bonus videos every single month. And yeah, I already have like 
a hundred plus bonus videos on there. So if you just pay the $5 a month, you get access to all those videos and you can bench watch them. It is getting really hot in here, like really hot. And I don't know about you, but the worst thing in the world is sweaty hands and gloves. Disgusting. Giant beaker, way too big for what I need to make, but that's fine. Go ahead and mix these again. Hundred, but that. Oh, dang it! got the feminine wash right here and then I got the eye moisturizer the retinol cream and then the rosy moisturizer and I need to add in the cool down phase to all those and I got the cucumber kiwi body scrub in the refrigerator cooling down so it'll cool down fast I ran out of pipettes or pipettes I don't know why I can never remember how to say it pipettes I'm pretty sure it's pipettes I ran out of them and I knew I was close to running out of them because I put them on the list and then I never ordered them so literally what I had to do, this is my bottle of citric acid that I normally, you know, use a dropper to drop. I literally have to grab this and then just do a drop this way. Like, I don't even know if you guys could see that on camera. It worked. So it's a lot of days later. Guys, I still have to have another huge formulating day like I just showed you guys. Basically, this is the last week of the month. Monday will be the 30th, so I got Monday and like this weekend. But my goal was to get all my orders out by the end of the month. And I don't know if that's gonna happen because today I need to record both my Patreon exclusives. I was supposed to do that yesterday, but after I got done replying all my messages, my shoulder, my right shoulder specifically, was in so much pain. And I think it has to do with the carpal tunnel. I'm not sure. A lot of you guys mentioned your rotor disc as well. I think I said that right. But I've been doing a lot of research on that. Basically, I went home yesterday. I did a bunch of shoulder exercises and that helped so much. I don't think like it's torn or anything. I think it's just sore. I don't know. I'm thinking about going to like a massage therapist or something and having them like check it out and being like, what do you think? Do I need to go to the doctor? <laughs> and last night I also bought like a heating pad made specifically for the shoulder. And I also bought a like a brace for your shoulder as well on Amazon last night. And then I edited a whole bunch of this vlog. Yeah, I still need to finish editing this vlog. So I have a video for Sunday for the channel because I am going to post weekly now because so many people are commenting on my latest video. Like, bye, it was so good following you. Like, or hey, before you go, can you help me with this? Or they'll comment on my Instagram, I thought you quit. So it's so weird that people think I'm quitting just because I posted that video. It seems like people think like my business is what my YouTube channel is. Like my YouTube channel can't exist without my business, but really my business can't exist without my YouTube channel. And that is something I realized. And that's actually kind of something I want to talk about. It's a whole kind of section I cut out of that video I posted last week on my channel, just about how and in what way I came to the realization that I didn't actually want a business anymore. I mean, I do think when I, in my early 20s that was something I wanted. 
And then as I got older, I truly started learning more about business and money and, you know, just becoming more wise. I'm in my late twenties now and I've learned so much about money and what really goes into running a business. And yeah, I just realized a business wasn't what I wanted. Basically, when I came to that realization, I started looking at my business as more of my merch because I realized my business doesn't exist without my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is what gets me sales. I don't know. I just find it very strange that people think me quitting my business is me quitting my YouTube channel. I don't know. I just think that that's very odd because I started doing YouTube before my business. If you want to see that video of me talking about like, I guess things I learned running a business, that's what I'm thinking about titling it. I kind of just want to sit down and chat with you basically like what my mindset was when I first started the business, what I wanted, and kind of what I learned along the way. And I think it probably will be very niche to me and my specific experience, but I still think it could be beneficial to you guys. And I don't know, I think I am going to film that video. Let me know what you think. And I think this is enough rambling because this vlog's pretty long, but I hope you guys like it. I really just wanted to reconnect with you guys after that last video and just kind of show you guys like hey I'm here like this is what I'm doing like there's a lot to come and I hope you guys are excited because this isn't the end that video wasn't marking like the end that video to me felt more like a new beginning which I guess you'd have to say an end but I don't think I really expressed in that video how excited I am to have all this time for YouTube now this is my true passion. Like I said, YouTube existed before the business. YouTube's my favorite thing, and I'm so happy to have all the time to just do YouTube. I keep telling myself, oh my gosh, Tara, if you get all these orders out this week, next week your only task is to create and edit and post a video. And of course, reply to my Patreon messages as well. But I just, it makes me so happy. And I hope you guys are all so excited for me. And that means you guys get more content. So even though you might be missing out on my business now, you get more of me on my YouTube. So yeah, I'm excited. I'll talk to you guys later. I got a lot of work I need to do today. I'm